Stolen Life is a 1946 drama starring Betty Davis in a dual role. Davis plays a pair of twins, one good and the other more malicious. They both pine over the same man, played by Glenn Ford, and the malicious one wins him over. As time goes on, the good twin starts to despise her sister more and more, to a point where she finds it hard to love her sister anymore. As many of you already know, I am a huge Betty Davis fan, and this is one of my favorite performances of hers. She does a great job distinguishing herself as the two sisters. Whenever they're on screen together, we never need a reminder of who's who. Davis gives each of the sisters their own mannerisms, expressions, and tone of voice to make them feel like two different people. Davis would later play twins again in the film Dead Ringer. That's more of a sinister take on this film, but the twins are barely in that film together. So I think this is the superior twin performance by Betty Davis. Speaking of twins being on screen at the same time, there are a couple impressive shots of dual photography with Davis. I think this is a pretty damn impressive effect for 1946. I will say I think Glenn Ford does a good job in this, but my favorite character in this has got to be Walter Brennan as Eben. My favorite scenes are when Eben and Davis interact. You see, the good sister is a painter, and she wants to paint Brennan's portrait, but he wants no part of it. So Davis bribes him with a ship in the bottle. Brennan accepts the bride with disdain. That's just one of many scenes in this film where they set up an entertaining dynamic. Dane Clark is also here as a tortured artist. Clark is another character actor from Hollywood whom I think is grossly underrated. This film showcases his versatility because he usually portrays good guys or the best friend. Here, he's kind of a dick, and I believe every second of it. I don't see Dane Clark in a role here. I see a self-imploding man who's poisoned to everyone in his life. Another highlight for me is the production design, specifically the shots at night. I feel there's a lot of symbolism in this setting. During the day, the town is bustling and full of vibrancies, but at night, it feels sleepier. It seems like a complete switch from what we originally interpreted the town like. I feel this says a lot about the bad twin. At first glance, she seems like a nice girl who wouldn't hurt a fly, but the longer we're around her, the more we see past her visage and realize she has ulterior motives. Like I said in my conflict review, this film feels like a Warner Brothers film from the 40s. It has that same aura that's present in most films of the time, and I love it. Again, you can tell most of this was shot on a set, but that aspect just enhances the film for me. So, if you love Warner Brothers films from the 40s and want to see Betty Davis give two great performances in one film, I say check this one out. You won't regret it.